I don't really like much how this looks. I don't want to just run around on a square. I really want an actual something that looks like a level. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to rename my cube as enemy and my first person controller. I'll just keep it called first person controller. That makes it very simple. Now, these guys aren't doing too much. I'm just going to leave them here for now. What I'm going to do is create terrain. Now, terrain is a physical plane that you can model and morph, extrude, bevel, and do all sorts of things to to make it look like land that you can move on. To create a terrain, you go up to terrain and hit create terrain. And it creates this giant, ugly looking block that is gigantic. Now, up front, the terrain's not doing much, but over here, I see that the terrain has a script attached to it, which allows me to raise terrain if I want, or set terrain heights. I can change the brush size. I can do all sorts of stuff to this. What I'm going to do is use the terrain editor. The terrain editor does not come with Unity by default, but it's kind of like the detonator. If you go on Google, type in Unity terrain editor, you'll find it and you can download it. And once it's downloaded, you just extract it. And then to bring it into your project, all you gotta do is go up to assets, import package, custom package, and then browse to wherever you save the folder to and import the terrain uh, editor uh, .unity package file. And, or sorry, it's called the Terrain Toolkit. So now if I go under Terrain Toolkit, which is now my project, it already was because I loaded an old project of mine, I can now add the Terrain Toolkit object to my terrain here. And now I have a Terrain tool Toolkit script, which allows me to do all sorts of cool stuff. So maybe I want, and these are all special uh, modeling methods, the names of these. I kind of like the Perlin one. I'm just going to use some preset uh, for Rocky Mountains. And I'm going to tell it to generate a Perlin terrain. So that looks pretty uh, hardcore, pretty extreme. So maybe what I want to do now is do some rolling hills, maybe bring that down a bit. Okay, there we go. So that's, that's a little bit better. Still a lot of bumpiness running around. So maybe I'll smooth out the terrain a bit, or sorry, not smooth out, maybe I'll erode it a bit, which mimics uh, real erosion. I'll do some hydraulic rain swept earth and I'll see how this looks. Depending on your hardware, it could take a little while. So it kind of smooths it out a little bit, it gives it a little bit different of a look here. Now I don't like this just gray meshy looking thing, so I'm gonna go under texture I'm going to add four textures. Now the cliff texture is essentially what's going to be applied to the real peaky parts of your uh, terrain. Now if I click the select button here, it'll allow me to grab a terrain texture. Now let me see what I want. I want something like a cliff something. Do they have a cliff? I know they got a, yeah, okay. So let's do a cliff layered. So it already looks grayish. Now texture one is going to apply to the, I wanna say the ground objects. It could be the peaks though, the high points. So let me check my snow. Yeah, okay, that's probably to the high points. Now if I go to my texture two, this should be the mid level. So why don't I do some grass and then the fourth will be the low level. So I'll do something like sand, like a, uh, yeah, like sand beach. Now I'm going to apply procedural textures. Okay, so I got that backwards. My texture one should be my sand. Or actually, hold on. Texture height tells it where to kick in the different textures. So this is all more or less trial and error. It's not, you know, it's kind of complicated, but the more you mess around with it, the more you get used to it. So now I modified these, I'll apply it. Okay, so I don't want, uh, I don't want 
snow on the ground, I want it to be on my peaks. So I got that mixed up here. So texture one is going to be my ground. So let me go down to my sand, choose my beach. Texture three is going to be my snow. So let me reapply that texture. And now my sand is more on the bottom areas here. And my snow is on the top caps here. Now these aren't going up too high. So maybe I want my snow to kick in a little bit more. So let me pull that up. Or sorry, that was texture one. My snow is texture three. So I want more snow. Okay, that's a little bit better. You know, still I want some more. Okay, now I want my grass to, I kind of want to cut down my grass a little bit. So I'm probably going to bring up my sand some more. And there we go. So that's kind of cutting my grass up. So, you know, we have a very basic level to look at here. Now, let me grab my first person controller. He's way down here, way down here. I mean, they're tiny in comparison to this, this monster of a terrain. And I'm just going to move him, zoom out here. I'm going to move him to, like, one of these peaks. Almost there. Bring him lower in front of my character, and now he's right there. So now I can start hitting this guy all around the world. Now it makes it kind of hard for me to keep up with him. So my game's a little flawed, but you get the idea of terrains. I can create all these levels, and this isn't exactly a foolproof level. I mean, this is pretty ridiculous, but you can really start messing around with the terrain a lot because you can click on it and we can see it and then we can say okay maybe I've already generated a good starting point for my terrain using the toolkit well now I can start going in and, and really smoothing areas out I can come in here and I can click on my raise lower and if I choose a huge brush and if I hold shift and click I can start caving all these things out I could start creating little valleys to walk in or little encampments and areas or places where enemies might pop out and try and kill you or something as a character. So I could start doing all sorts of stuff to this terrain. I can smooth out the heights, you know, and uh, I can also paint on textures. So maybe I want more snow here. Well, I can just start adding patches of snow. But maybe that's too much. Maybe I'll put the opacity way down so I can do slight strokes and get a small effect over time. So it feels a bit more like you're painting, like an artist or something. So you can start painting all sorts of textures and doing all sorts of things like that. That's what's so fun about terrain. And this is really enjoyable for level design. Uh, once you get the mechanics of your game down, you'll probably be doing a lot of this to create really good levels that are enjoyable and that really immerse you in the game. And that's a whole nother kind of art that goes with game development. Um, you really got to have a good feel and a good eye for that. 